Hey guys, it's Brian from Access Motorworks. Welcome back to the shop. So hey, in the last video, you saw us, slash me, uh, put this body onto this frame. And now we know that this is actually gonna work. We've gotta actually do another, but it's really not set up quite right. So the uh, basically I just kinda tack welded everything together. As you can see in the background there, they're rolling in the chassis table. So we gotta lift this thing up, get it on the chassis table, and then I'll start uh, basically squaring everything up and making sure everything's in the right position uh, permanently, basically. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Ta-da! So the car is on the chassis table. Well, I guess you can't really call it a car yet. It's uh, rolling something. Anyway, so what I was kind of alluding to, um, it's kind of hard to see. I'm actually going to zoom in here just a second. So the chassis is, the wheelbase is correct, but the interior, how it's kind of laid out, is not correct. Uh, let me show you what I mean by that. So as you can see, the car is at the proper wheelbase. Tire A is in the middle of that arch, and you'll have to take my word for it, tire B is in the middle of that arch. The problem is, these tires are obviously much, much larger than the original tires that were on the car, and I'm not gonna go with smaller tires because I want these big brakes. So I've gotta figure out how to get there. Um, the other problem, like I alluded to, is this guy here. So to get the wheelbase, I took the frame I originally designed and I cut it here, and I cut it here, and then I welded this bar in here, kind of shrunk everything up. The problem with that is, is this back bar where the firewall is going to live really needs to go all the way back here to where the B pillar is. And I need to make a hoop and I uh, want that to travel right down there to the firewall. So obviously there's quite a bit of difference between that and that. But is that point really where that point's going to live in the first place? Because this tire, she rubs a lot especially when I turn the corner. So I need to move this whole car back just a little bit, a couple inches. Um, and to do that, I'm gonna actually extend the front of the car. I also need a little bit of no clearance in the front. We're a little too tight in the front. So I'm gonna cut the, uh, I'm gonna cut the fender here, cut along here, cut along the cowl, and extend the whole front of this car just a little bit, just to get that space I need, and then I'll be able to push the body back just a little bit, give me a little bit of clearance there, and then I'll be able to finish up, uh, you know, obviously with the wheel wells in the back. So first step, let's go ahead and cut this set part off here and kind of like get the body actually where it needs to be so I actually know where that hoop B pillar is gonna go. So let's get started. So that was a lot of work, but I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. So let me put the front end on and we'll see exactly what we're dealing with. So it's gonna live somewhere right about there. Um, obviously the wheel wells need to be worked and brought over this way. Um, overall, it looks like I'm gonna be adding, adding right around seven inches to the, uh, the front of the car. The wheelbase probably changed just slightly. I'll, I'll get a measurement of that at some point. Um, you know, I, I kind of pushed that rail out just to edge of the door here. So now we've got plenty of clearance. Uh, I didn't want to, I didn't actually want to change or cut the door. So now I have plenty of clearance for the tire on the back. I did check that by moving the tire left and right and no problems. Um, you know, I, I kind of alluded to the big tires in the back there. Not exactly sure if we're going with that look or not yet. 
But anyway, I think this is probably a good stopping point. I actually have to get this stuff in the car next episode. Um, we got air conditioning, steering, uh, and seats. Um, those are kind of like the main things I kind of want to get kind of established where the seating position is, where the steering rack is going to go, and the feet position. Um, ultimately, that kind of like leads into, you know, the, the floor pans and stuff. I do think I'm going to use custom floor pans, but what do I mean by that? Well, I don't want to buy anything for this car, as I've alluded to. So I still have that uh, Mazda Miata sitting outside. I'm going to cut the floor pan out of it and see if I can't make it work in here. I, I don't know if that's going to work or not, but, but I can buy floor pans for the car. They still make them, but I kind of really don't want to buy anything. So, then, so anyway, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.